welcome to our session welcome to our channel intelligible tutorials in the today session i am going to describe about a new subject called information retrieval systems this information retrieval systems actually derived from the database management systems and as well as the data mining so to extract the information to process the information what are the various data structures used to process the information all these things are clearly described in the information retrieval system now in this video let us see the introduction part of the information retrieval systems coming to the introduction part of the information retrieval systems it's a branch of the computer science and it is used for mainly for storing of the information and retrieval and maintaining of the information as we all of you know what is the meaning of the information uh, the process of data is called as the information here as data what is the meaning of the data the raw form of the data is called as data itself it's in the raw form whenever it got processed that is called the information so it becomes knowledge when the particular information will becomes knowledge that will be shared then only it becomes knowledge so what is the relation between the data information and knowledge initially it is in the form of the data which is in the raw form then it will be processed that will be termed as the information and next it will be termed as the knowledge why because it was shared coming to the uh, next uh, to understand the differences and the similarities between the database management system and information retrieval system both are very similar and it is very difficult to understand the difference between the information retrieval systems and as well as the database management system coming to the part of the database management system it is a centralized uh, server will be there and uh, in the centralized server all the data will be located and all the clients can access the information and can share the information coming to the information retrieval systems so here also we can access the information not only from one single server it can access it from multiple number of the servers but coming to the uh, irs it has its own deficiencies why because it's a structured data and as well as the unstructured data okay so whereas in the database management systems the data is completely processed and as well as it is completely structured okay information retrieval systems can have both the types it is structured and as well as the unstructured data okay so coming to the other thing definition of the information retrieval systems the information can be composed of the text it is not only the information of the textual information it can contain the numerical data not only and the text data it can also contains the image audio video and other multimedia objects okay that information may be a text may be video may be audio may be gif may be jpg format and png format mb format whatever it is that entire thing is called as the information okay so the information retrieval systems contain all the kinds of the information and it is the it is also gives the efficient ways to extract such kind of the information from the collection of the information now coming to the other kind of the data and information differences okay storing of symbols associated with uh, objects people and uh, events so these kind of the data can be represented in the form of the attribute and each and every attribute can have uh, some kind of the values okay data is raw process raw one it cannot be have any kind of the meaning and data must be associated with the help of some kind of the attributes and each and every attribute can have its own values so data can be represented in the form of the attributes and attributes can be represented in the form of the values and what are the main components of this uh, information retrieval systems are system people and documents all the three components are interrelated to each other and as well as depends upon the each other system means the server on which we, we are using to access the information the people are nothing but the users uh, database administrators network administrators and all and coming to the documents the documents which can store all these kinds of the information like the uh, audio video text numerical and all other multimedia objects all these are interrelated and dependent upon each other and what are the various things relevant to the information retrieval systems it is uh, 
use it to cover the relevant problems of uh, finding the needed information okay so uh, it is mainly used to focusing on the document retrieval and uh, other kind of the examples are string manipulation indexing mapping querying in the technical perspective the main information main motivation of the information retrieval systems is what are the problems that are associated with finding the extraction of the information okay so what kind of the information normally it retrieves is nothing but document uh, uh, information it retrieves because within the document the entire information will be stored as text uh, jpg mpg and all other kinds of the data okay so you can perform other kind of the operations on the uh, uh, data whatever it is information whatever you want to extract as manipulation string manipulation indexing matching querying all the operations are allowed here in the technical perspective coming to the other uh, thing relevant to the information retrieval system is it's actually a software program and uh, it uses a standard computer hardware uh, and it performs uh, some kind of the search uh, search composition search execution and identifying the relevant items and identifying the non relevant items all these things it is going to be used but one of the big limitation and big drawback of the information retrieval system is accessing the non relevant items are one of the overhead of the information retrieval systems some of the relevant items they will come if you perform any kind of the search the search focused on the relevant items if we, the relevant items will come there is no problem but when the relevant items or non relevant items will come then that becomes an overhead okay so it is focusing on that overhead uh, um, the coming to the uh, other advantages of the information retrieval systems as in the earlier days it is very difficult to extract the information and as well as the process the information but nowadays with the availability of all the inexpensive computer processing systems with high speed large capacity it is highly commercially feasible and uh, provide the a large amount of the information extraction is also possible with the information retrieval systems as compared to the earlier days nowadays you can extract the information very fastly um, and most widely information can be extracted with the help of the growth in the technology what are the various examples of the information retrieval systems so wais wide area information server facilitate you to extract the information and other advanced search engines like infoseek excite are also very good servers and it has provided new avenue to access the terabytes of the information so not only the small amount of the information using the information retrieval systems you can access the terabytes of the information and images can also be extracted with the help of other kind of the servers websites like uh, webseek dicto.com alta vista and images etc and here we need to discuss about one thing that is called as item which plays a vital role in the information retrieval system so what is the meaning of the item any thing that can be a text or that can be a um, uh, audio or that can be a video or uh, that can be a book that can be a paragraph that can be a text numerical combination of the data whatever it is that can be treated as an item okay so uh, uh, the thing you want to search for anything that is treated as item okay this is a smallest and complete unit that is processed and manipulated by the system the definition of this item depends upon specific source how it reaches the information just now i told it may be a document it may be a collection of the characters a word a pattern or a string a book a newspaper or magazine or a video news program whatever it is that is everything can be considered as the item okay so whatever item you want to search that is relevant to the uh, particular uh, items searching item and as well as searchable items we can call in the coming sessions we see what are the differences between the searching item and as well as searchable items likewise we have completed various kinds of the information retrieval systems from the initial onwards so what is the important thing relevant to the information retrieval systems is nothing but it contains uh, unstructured data and uh, it is a collection of the data mixing of the data as uh, audio video um, text etc 
various kinds of the data to extract the information from the information retrieval systems we require some specially designed servers like WIS, InfoSeq, Excite and web other kind of the websites also facilitate you to extract the information and images from the information retrieval systems. Those are WebSeq, Dicto.com, AltaVista and coming to the next one item. Uh, anything can be an item, it may be a text, it may be a document, audio and it may be a file. Okay, so next uh, there are uh, main uh, motivations of the information retrieval systems is to cover whatever problems that arise to extract the information, the information system is designed in a way to reduce the overhead of the problems for extraction of the information from the user. Okay, so we can perform other kind of the operations also on the information retrieval systems. So like that, this is the introduction part of the information retrieval systems and in coming videos, we see other kind of the relevant information of the information retrieval systems. To watch more videos of uh, uh, information retrieval systems and other kind of the subjects also uh, for continuous videos and further videos. Uh, if at all you want to uh, subscribe my channel Intelligible Tutorials, please subscribe our channel Intelligible Tutorials. Um, thank you one and all. Thank you for patience listening and thank you one and all.